Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome to Celebrity Ready, Steady, Cook. Tonight, celebrity shoppers are two of the biggest names from the pop scene in the 80s. But before we meet them, let's welcome our talented chefs. They are Anthony Worrell Thompson and Leslie Walters. I say, everyone, we've got to say Leslie has a new hairstyle, which I think looks really lovely, doesn't it, everyone, eh? Ooh, natural. Natural. Of course it's yeah. natural, Leslie. <laughs> Naturally out of a bottle, I think, don't you? Absolutely. Now, our first guest tonight is a music legend. His song, Vienna, is a true 80s classic, and Do They Know It's Christmas, which he co-wrote with Bob Geldof for Band-Aid, is the second biggest-selling single in British history. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the wonderful Midge Yeah! <laughs> Well, you were with a band called Ultravox, and uh, are, you, but are you ultra talented in the kitchen? I'm actually not bad in the kitchen. In fact, most uh, most of the couples I know, it's the men who um, who delve into the kitchen area. Women actually don't want to. I find have anything to do with anything that's in the kitchen. You know, really? Dishwashers, wow. washing machines, yeah. fridges, cookers, well, that kind of thing. Leslie might have something to say about that. Oh, I it? have. I'll talk to you in a minute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and she's cooking for you. You better treat <laughs> her right. right. Let's have a look in your bag, then. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Some that's big it. things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Look at that. Talk to us about this little lot, then. OK. Um, Favourite things. Um, chicken. Mm -hmm. Seem to eat constantly. Ginger. Uh, I just love the flavour of ginger, it's a fantastic, mm. fantastic mm. Um, Pineapple, um, I, for my sins, I, um, I used to sit on the veranda of my, my little house out in the Caribbean, out in Montserrat, the Isle of Montserrat, oh, sitting there eating my pineapple until uh, God in his infinite wisdom hit me with a, a, a hurricane and now a volcano yeah. um, and said, you're a working class guy from Glasgow, you shouldn't have a house in the Caribbean. <laughs> so this, this, is, this is my remnants of it, this is what I've got left. That's it's, the memory. That's it, yeah. absolutely. Um, I love spicy foods, mm. I love curries, I love Thai, I cook Thai, I cook Japanese, Great. I cook lots of different things. I really mm. enjoy cooking, so these are the ingredients that I, uh, that I, I would put something together Sure. With. Well, you've got the pepper, the potato. How much did you spend on that little lot, didn't you? Uh, £4.91, being a Scot. Ah. <laughs> anyway, we're about to meet a friend of yours, by all oh, accounts, yeah. of your era. Yes. Okay. Oh. Now, our next mystery guest was a wild, red-haired punk princess. She mellowed a bit since she turned the world inside out in the 80s, but I'm sure she's going to turn this kitchen upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Toya Wilcox! Hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Oh, Great. look at you. You You're look fantastic. You're short, aren't you? I know, darling. I've got heels on You've as got well. Got me bag, don't worry. Oh. We're okay. We're matched. I know you do match, actually. Very nicely. It's the hair tone, isn't it? <laughs> that mm. Now, you're a bit of a wild girl in the uh, 80s. Are you wild in the kitchen then, Toya? I'm an animal in the kitchen. Oh, isn't it? I, I just see that oven and I panic. <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> what about shopping? Are you quite good at shopping? I love shopping. Mm -hmm. I, I just love feeling things in the supermarket, you know, mm. if you get away with it. I just love my melons. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Let's have a look in your bag, Toya. <laughs> Lovely. Let's have a look. What have you brought us along here? Ooh, oh, something's still in there. That's it. Mm. Right. Broccoli. I tell you why, Joan Collins once said it kept her young, and I've ate it religiously ever since. Mm. Um, very low in calories. Udon noodles, because I used to live in Glasgow for three months of the year, and you get the best Japanese food in Glasgow. There you go, Midge. Mm. Yeah, um, tofu, because I'm preferably vegetarian, and I love tofu. You can eat it without guilt. Chilies, because once you've cut them up, your fingers are brilliant weapons. Mm. <laughs> um, and spring onions, because the colour's fantastic, the mm. taste is fantastic, and coconut milk, 
because it's just plain exotic. It is. It's wonderfully exotic. How much did you spend on this little exotic lot here? Four pounds eighty-two. Four eighty-two. Yeah. Well, Mitch could have taught you one or two things. Eh? Skin flint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that tofu just sends me wild. Did it really? All right. Well, you two get wild. I'll come back and see you. What are they like? Led, what are you going to cook for Mitch? <laughs> I think we're going to do mm -hmm. a Thai version of chicken and chips. Sounds oh. good to me. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the things, and I think a pud, maybe something with, I mean, some use some of the pineapple, make a sort of pineapple caramelised pancake pie. Right. And something you're going like to spice that. this up somehow. I'm going to spice it up. I'm going to do a sort of pepper mayo, yeah. and I'm going to do spicy sort of potato wedges. Oh, really? And it's got some chilies over there. Maybe you could do a little bit of a swap or something. Oh yeah. Can I? Have you got fresh chilies? Loads. Loads. We'll, we'll Anthony. Do, we'll, we'll do you a couple of pineapple slices for some chilies. <laughs> <laughs> hey. yeah, that'd be really good actually. I, could, I think you'll put. What about a little ginger? Just a. For you, my darling. Oh, look at this. You've got them going now. Do you like it nice <laughs> and uh, hot for me? I it's love it hot, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> it's good to know, Mitch. <laughs> that sounds great, Les. Now, what about you two? What have you discussed and what have you come up with? Well, we're going to do a bread and butter pudding, but using some of the coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what we're useful for the um, pineapple. So, a little bit of orange caramel bread and butter pudding. Sure. We're going to do a soup noodle with a little broken egg cracked into it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a Thai sort of curry. Yeah. And then with the tofu, we're going to do tofu sticks, crispy salt and pepper tofu stri strips. Strips or chips or whatever. How does that sound that to you, That sounds Toya? brilliant. No alcohol yeah. for me. No though, alcohol. Thank you. No pubs. Thank no you. That alcohol. No pubs. Oh, That's good because alcohol. Just food. Mm. Alcohol in the mm. east don't go that well. Well, both of them sound absolutely beautiful, but can they do it in 20 minutes? Let's get them started when I say these words ready, steady, cook. Okay. It's that music. That's it. Yeah, it gets you going, doesn't it, Les? It certainly does. Just have a little bit We're of off. We're off. We're mm, off. Lovely. Loosen up the joints. Do you have a dance in the kitchen then, uh, Mitch? Uh, 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 not, not in a green thing, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got one in black to go in the rest of my outfit. Uh. Well, I think it looks quite good. We like that on you. <laughs> uh, we like to make our celebs feel at home. Thank you. Yeah, Thank pleasure. You. Absolute pleasure. Now, what do you... You said you're going to make a nice sort of uh, classic fish and chips, Thai fish and chips. Yeah. Sorry, chicken and chips. My apologies, Les. Yeah. So what does that mean? What are you actually going to do with the chicken? I think what we're going to do is... First of all, use lots and lots of ginger and make yeah. a ginger, onion and chilli paste. I'm going to need a chilli from Anthony. Okay. Right, here He's go. kind enough to lend us. OK, me. we'll get that chilli bit organised. Can we uh, do that, yeah. Anthony? You've got, got a couple that you could speak. I'm going to use too many yeah. of those, are you? Open it, could you? Yeah, of course yeah. I'll open it up for you. Here we are. Okay. Yes. Here we are. Look at oh, that. Oh, I say. Mm. Let's have two of those little red fellas there. Is that Thanks, okay? Anthony. Is that all right? No problem. All right, so we've got our ginger here. Mm -hmm. and But first of all, I just want to get... Actually, Midge, can you cut that in half and then in quarters? Sure. And hurry up, please. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, so, we've got our ginger here. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you can peel your ginger if you want to. That's for the boy, yeah. yeah. And Is that enough? Yeah. Is that Thank enough? You. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Thank you. All right. right. Now Not we're going to grate model. it. I need my grater. Mm -hmm. And which is... Where's my grater I think gone? we've got one down here somewhere, haven't we, Les? All right. And how fine do you want it grated? Here we are. Yeah, just kind of coarse like cheese. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. And I'm going to put it into mm -hmm. um, the whizzer. Lovely. With the onion for you. Yeah, with yeah. the onion, lots mm -hmm. and lots of herbs. Yeah. Midge, what herbs do you like? I love coriander. Hey. I love I love coriander. Either either herb, uh, uh, leaf or um, or seeds. All right, let's have um, let's get some coriander seeds. Yeah. They're over there. Mm -hmm. oh, he's very obedient, he's isn't he? He's very obedient, isn't he? <laughs> I'm doing You're my best. Keeping him, that's it. You shouldn't have mentioned about women doing things. She's going to have you running all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell you. I'll come back, Liz. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, what have you started with here? Well, you? I'm making the caramel and oranges to go in the bottom of my bread and butter pudding. Yeah. And I'm hoping that when Leslie has the pineapple, we'll do, be able to get that in. Yes. And I've got the caramel in there. And you need that quite early. Do you want to take a slice off the base, shall I yeah, ask? Yeah, quite nice. I mean, yeah. there's not a major problem. And yeah. Could you take a slice off the base there? Yes. All right, then, three minutes gone already. Yeah, I'll take a quick slice off the base. A quick slice. Well, like that. No, that's oh, off. OK. I'll just take the end off, because that's the trimmings. Yeah. And I need two sort of slices, yeah. OK? So that's, that's lovely. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Yeah. There we are. How about that, Thanks, my love. Right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fantastic. Now, what's the secret of a sort of quick bread and butter pudding, then, Anthony? Um, home? We're about to find out. It's um, sort of making a custard, yeah. which I use four egg yolks 
to a pint of liquid, mm -hmm. a bit of sugar, and in which case we're going to use half the tin of coconut milk. Yeah. And that's which coriander. Is coriander. That's, no, that's fine. That's <laughs> coriander. Quite a bit of that. Roughly, just roughly chopped. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to um, put that all together and that, with the, the coconut milk instead of all milk. Normally yeah. it'd be all milk. A little bit of cast sugar, normally like a, a bit of vanilla. Base, the coconut. A lot of people get sort of put off by coconut milk, but it is a wonderful kind of like substitute for cream, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. It's a very trendy little item now, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, gone are the days of pina colada. Yeah, absolutely. This we cook with this now. Right. Yes. Right. I mean, the Thais have made it very popular, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, Thai chicken curries and things like that. Great. Well, Tori right. was talking about it. You love all that Lovely. Thai food, don't that. you? I haven't chopped it yet. That's all right. I'm oh, going to okay. put it in a mixer. I love Thai food. It's mm. fantastic. Peel that for me. Um, thank, thanks. <laughs> Peel that. <laughs> I know. That. So don't, don't buy knobbly ginger. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what he says. I mean, all my cooking is done in a wok. Uh -huh. Yes, if I cook at all, actually. Nice and quick. That's the way you very like quick. it, Very quick. And very healthy as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I try and dry fry. I try not to use any... Too much oil yeah. or something like that, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm so short, I can't afford to put weight on, so... <laughs> oh, no, you're yeah. looking great. You're looking you look great. great. Fifteen minutes to go. Okay. okay, Anthony, I'll let you get sort of uh, semi set up here. And when you're putting the uh, pudding together, call me over, all right? I will. I'd like I will. to see the finish of that. All right, oh, now. good, good, great timing. I can. Mm. Hey, Midge is good in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Hey, I can, hey. I, can, I can do it on tools. <laughs> <laughs> I like a man that can do what he's doing. I know, absolutely. Anyway, okay, let's have a look in here. Mm -hmm. So, we have got onion, um, ginger. Have a smell of that, Midge. Coriander, oh, lime. Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a little bit of honey. Oh, <laughs> That'll get your eyes. Right, okay. Yeah. Is that good onto the now? chicken, onto okay. the chicken. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's take that out, Mitch. That'll make it a lot easier for you. Thank you. We don't, okay. that, don't want that in there. Mm. Instant toothpick. <laughs> 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 All right, we're just going to leave that. And then we're going to And how long would you off. normally marinate something like this Oh, for, it's best Leslie. if you can do it overnight. But, you know, if you haven't got the time, it's mm. not the end of the world. Just mm. Even just letting it sit mm -hmm. for 20 minutes will, will help it. Of course, we haven't even got time mm. to do that. Now, I've got to go back to this name, Midge. Where did that originally uh, sort of come from? Because you're, what was it called? But you're Jim, aren't you? Well, James, yes. Yeah, so like most nicknames, you don't ask for it. And it's yeah. usually thrust upon you. Um, there was a great movie called um, Animal House where there's a great scene where John Belushi walks through all the new guys coming into the frat yeah. and says, and you're now called, and you are now called. Well, it happened to me, I was in a band. Mm -hmm. The other guy in the band was called Jim. He'd been in the band longer than I was, who said, no, you are Midge, which is Jim backwards. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, Jim backwards, Midge. Yeah, M -I -G. And you added the D-E. -D well, I had to put yeah. a bit of style in. Well, Leslie, you know. you'd be a what, a Yelsey? What, would you, what was that, a Yelsell or a something? A Yelsell, probably, yell -sell. wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a new name. It All is right. Yelsell. It's quite Yell -sell, good, isn't it? lovely, yeah. Right, let's okay. get that chicken in there. Thirteen minutes that to go. Down, that side down, so pick it up. OK. Whack it in the pan. Also, yeah. you've always written your own songs, haven't you? But if you had to do a cover version, who, who would you like? Because there's so many fabulous artists out there. Well, there's, yeah, there's so many um, uh, seminal people out there who have mm -hmm. written the, the key things that have made huge changes to your life. Mm. People like David Bowie or Roxy Music or any mm -hmm. of those guys. Um, I'd be very wary doing cover versions. You have to either give it your full, your interpretation mm -hmm. of it, or not do it at all. Yeah. So you'd have to you'd have to take it and turn it inside out and make yeah. it something else. Um, it, otherwise, it, it's, there's no point sorry. in doing it. Yeah. Okay, Anything okay. Yeah. He, he, he wants, wants to do a cover yeah, version. Excuse me. Yeah. He wants to do a cover version. Down there's his okay, I put this. the oranges and caramel in the bottom. Yeah. And then put the custard over so the top. So what quantity of oranges to caramel or sugar, I should say? Um, well, I got two ounces of um, butter, two ounces of golden. Uh, sorry, two ounces of honey. Yeah. And two ounces of. My yeah. hands aren't strong enough. There we are, <laughs> And the other thing is... Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Two ounces of soft brown sugar. Right, and you just brought that up to the boil, popped the orange in there, yeah. and that was your base. I got it all caramelised, so it yeah. all blended together nicely. Yeah. And that was my base, yeah. Fantastic. And I'm going to fry my pineapple And get, get, get that all going. Well, yeah. whilst you're doing that, I'll have a quick chat down here with Tobias. Now, look at you, Mrs. Busy getting up to all your bits and pieces there. Now, you had a top ten hit with It's a Mystery. Yeah. I mean, every time you go into the kitchen and you start sort of cooking, is, is it a bit of a mystery to you? Everything's a mystery to me in the really, kitchen, Really? You said yeah. you're a bit frightened of the oven, but yet you're talking about doing all this dry wok frying and stuff well, like that. Well, uh, uh, to be honest, I, I, I think because I'm a relatively good cook and mm -hmm. people expect me to cook, I don't quite enjoy it. So, yeah. um, when I'm at home, I eat an awful lot of raw food, just fruit and veg. Yeah. Because I'm lazy, basically. I think a lot of people are, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And people don't realise that a lot of these sort of vegetables that we get in the freeze, they retain wonderful, all those sort of nutritional yeah. values that you have in things. Is that right, Anthony? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what it's uh, 
it's all about. Lots yeah. of fruit uh, and veg. It is what it's Lots all about. Lots of fruit and veg and raw, raw, all the better. I don't know about mm. you, if ever I make a pudding, I'll eat the whole thing before anyone else sees it as really? well. So it's like, you, steer clear yeah, of no that. Yeah, no problem with that. Yeah. There's a lovely story about uh, you eating your mum's sort of cakes and stuff when you were younger, wasn't yes, there? Yes, but it wasn't me. Yeah. My mother would make cakes and she'd put them to cool on the baking tray. Yeah. And my brother would come along and put bite, take a huge bite out of the cake. Yeah. So my father used to measure the teeth marks by getting us to bite on a piece of paper. And he'd find out who, who bit the cake by Detecti measuring it up. Detective Wilcox, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Well, I always got the blame. You always got the blame. Yes. Oh, no. Probably had similar teeth marks or something like that. <laughs> now, what about sort of music in the kitchen when you're cooking? Are you one of those people that oh, like, have a bit of something music. going on? Anything from Debussy through to Stravinsky. Oh, really? Oh, Classical yes. stuff, if, then? If you're really kind of in a hurry and yeah. you've got Firebird on, yeah. duh, 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 everything gets cut so quickly. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Well, I, I'm not being much help, right? am no, I? You're fine. You're very fine. bold. And, uh, uh, anything yeah. from... Halfway, halfway. Yeah. Bing, Bing Crosby to David Bowie. Mm -hmm. I think the lot. I just love music. I'm a bit more sort of soulful. I like all the soulful stuff get on down yeah. and quite sort of cool and stuff. You know, kind of gets me in the mood a little bit. Yeah. What about you, Anthony? Yes, Music-wise? Well, I've just come back from Jamaica. Oh, yes. Uh, so... Yeah, I look a bit of reggae. I thought, yeah, it's the old Mali. I like a Mali. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lovely. Yeah. I tell you what, we had some most fantastic, just tin sheds on the beach, boats tore in with their fish, picked our lobster and we had snapper and this little tin shuts yeah. and wooden benches. God, the environmental health officer would have had a field day. But <laughs> the point is, it was... It was Fantastic. ideal. Fantastic. It was the freshest fish you've ever had. Lovely. I'll Possibly come back and see you. OK, nine minutes. How's it going over here, Les? Oh, look, right. chicken cooking. And smelling great, I have to say. OK, what about this pineapple? What's our, All what's right, so what here? we're going to do is we're going to griddle some of the pineapple uh -huh. in the griddle pan. That's going to be to serve with the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the skin on it, because that just gives a lovely perfume to the whole dish. Yes. And then the rest, we're just going to chop up mm -hmm. with some oranges. Midge is over there, my kitchen yeah. slave. He I'm is. He's doing a marvellous <laughs> job, isn't he? I'm doing yeah. my bit. Oh, look, the fingers are all wrinkled. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, we were talking about cover versions before. Has anybody yep. ever done a cover version of Vienna? Um, there's just been one done recently by a guy called Russell... Oh, God, uh, from Manchester, mm. young opera singer guy. He's done this fantastic version of it. Um, and are, yeah. you, are you happy with that? Do you ever get a bit nervous thinking someone might destroy my... Oh, my, my no, I'm not, I'm not precious about things like that at yeah. all. You know, people should be able to yeah. grab a piece of music and turn that into their own thing any time they like. And where did you write it? It's such a classic. Were you in the sort of romantic Vienna at the time? Somewhere yeah, like that? except it was uh, Turnham Green, really. It wasn't really... Turnham <laughs> Green. <Yeah. laughs> I'd never been to Vienna. I'd read about it. I knew all about the secessionists yeah. and stuff, so... I it was all it was pure fantasy at the time. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, what about uh, all these pop stars that you know? Do you go round to each other's house and sit down? Like, has Bob Geldof ever invited you over for a bit of a sort of a, a oh, walk? Yeah. Of Funnily enough, no. <laughs> 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 no, it doesn't. It doesn't get to happen that way. I mean, yeah. it's like it's like you meet all these guys at various TV shows, yeah. various events, and things, and um, and you never really get a chance to kind of mix. Everyone's got yeah. their own kind of very busy little Absolutely. areas to do. And uh, of course, when you go home, you just want to spend it with the kids. And I know and exactly. Stuff, so. Chill out with the kids. And you Absolutely. Get down there doing a bit of cooking with them or something Absolutely. like that. All right, what I say, after um, Band Aid, there was Live Aid. Yeah. What was that like? Standing on stage there in front of millions of people worldwide and singing. What's the feeling like? Is it, did it get your guts going? It's a bit like this, really, isn't it? Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> no. It was uh, uh, petrifying. Yeah. Absolutely petrifying. Because the thing was that people didn't get to see that the artists had no time for a sound check and yeah. to check that everything was working and the sound was okay and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Just went on. You had 18 minutes. What you didn't know that was there was a traffic light system either side of the stage and you had 18 minutes and if you saw the lights turn from green to amber you had two minutes left and you wouldn't see it go from amber to red because it would all go off yeah so that kept everybody in time oh wow yeah, so it was it petrifying was like yeah real, absolutely real absolutely it must have been great sitting down there and watching all these famous sort of pop icons just doing their stuff well luckily i was in the first yeah. hour um, so I managed to get out front and sit yeah. there and watch all these artists that I didn't think I'd particularly enjoy, but they were fantastic. Yeah. It was a brilliant day. It's Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. It's great. It'll never be forgotten. It's one of those classic no, moments, I'll isn't it? Fantastic. Oh, fabulous. Everybody remembers. OK, quickly back to the food OK, here, we're just going to whiz this up. Midge, I need Shard, you over here. Yeah. Shard peppers. Come here, my darling. OK, and what have we got in here? These are just... These uh, are just a little pancake, cinnamon pancakes. Midge, yeah. in there with the egg. Beautiful. Yep. And Pineapple we're just going to whiz that up just with some yolk. herbs. Just to go... And where's that chilli gone? Did we use it? OK. Did you want more chilli? Yes, please. That would be good, is it? OK. I haven't seen it. 
Did you want more chilli? Yes, please. That would be good. I OK, one, one chilli. Right. Another one, Just Anthony. Okay. One chilli. There you go. Thanks, darling. No problem. Okay. Okay. How's it going over here, Chef? Well, we're in the... Um, we're in... OK. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're just doing about good. doing all right. All right, then. Now, the udon noodles are in there, aren't they? They make a very right. good meal. I know, it's lovely. This is the tofu, isn't it? Yes. It is. Beautiful. I want you to... I like tofu because you can eat it without guilt. It's... But it's a bit bland, though. It's I think terribly bland. You need bland. to add flavour well, to it, though, don't you? It makes you? You the vegetables to... even more exciting. Yeah. All that up. Yes. And then coat it, coat it in that. OK. There we are. Give that a bit of a shape. That's it. Get that all going there, Toya. You know you were asking Mitch about mm. have, has he ever kind of had famous people at his home? Yeah. Well, yeah. I was once trying on a stage outfit that consisted of black thigh boots, leather skirt and a leather bra. Wow. And the, door, the doorbell rang. Yes. And I opened the doorbell yeah. and we live in the country and it was a Sunday afternoon and there was Brian Ferry. And I opened the door like Miss Whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he, he was terribly oh, embarrassed and he said, hello, is your husband in? I said, no, come in and have tea. <laughs> <laughs> I served in tea and thigh boots. It was fantastic. Oh, well, well, you know, talking about this kind of outfit, you were, did, did the Good Sex Guide Late Show, didn't yes, you? Oh, I was yeah. on that. Yeah. Yes, you yes. were. Did you, you did really, Anthony? Yes. Anthony did Valentine food. Yeah, did. Yeah. All, All about oysters, Nick. Were you yeah. dressed in leather at the time, too, Anthony? No, there was a thong involved. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Three minutes. I was in my chef's gear, actually, Ames. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've also done the BBC's Heaven and Earth. What is the real Toya? Is it that, do you prefer to be that kind of outrageous person or someone very calm and collected? Um, I, I like doing religious programmes because it's a taboo, the same yeah. as the way sex programmes are a taboo. Mm. Um, I just enjoy those kind of challenges, doing really unusual things. Yeah. I'm too prudish to be a real kind of outrageous person oh. and um, I, I think I'm too yeah. outrageous to really be doing songs of praise. You're so outrageous I'm back in the, in the 80s so it's kind of changed now. Is this just age? Is this becoming a little bit more mature do you think? I think as you get older you just you, you just don't mellow. Care. You're mellow you just don't care about yeah. things. I don't get upset about anything anymore. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just as outrageous oh, we but love I'm just you. calmer we about love. it. I love you and I love your outfit. I think this is great. Oh thank Wonderful. you. Thank you. It's okay great. chef there we are. Okay. To tofu cooking in Butter. Butter and a little bit of oil. Yeah. As, uh, this is our soup noodles, which yeah. we're going to now put into a bowl and crack okay. an egg in. Fantastic. Well, you get on with that and I'll come back. Two okay. minutes to go. Two Ooh, minutes. All Les is already compiling a few bits and pieces there. Now, what about you, Mitch? What's next for you? Oh, I've got a new album coming out. Um, it's just come out in Europe at uh, the end of last year. Uh -huh. So I've been out there touring, doing lots of stuff. It's one of those funny things in the UK music industry. If people haven't seen you for a few years, you think you're dying. Absolutely. And being pinned up on the... They forget the, the rest of the, the world. The Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've been out in Europe doing all that. It's coming out here. Yeah, one and a half. One and a half, Anthony. So it's mm. back to back on the mm. grind again. It's like yeah. a hamster in a wheel, really, isn't yeah. it? It's like you just keep going, <laughs> just keep, you just keep yeah. going, you know. And so what, apart from music, what else do you like to do? What are the other interests? Cooking. Yeah? You love getting out there and doing it's it? It's like, and, and I, I see it as kind of like putting together um, the equivalent of an airfix kit, except yeah. you can eat it at the end, yeah. instead of shoot it up in your garden with your BB gun. <laughs> you know, so... That oh, tastes great. Right. Oh, look at that, good. Liz. Look yeah. Good. yeah. What What's in there, then? Mitch, uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, coriander. Yeah. Uh, uh, One minute to go. Uh, roast pepper, yeah. um, some sugar, a little bit of seasoning. Uh, it's fantastic. It'll blow your socks off. Beautiful. I know it probably will do. What about you? What's it? You've been smoking again, Mitch. <laughs> 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 well, wonderful. OK, 45 seconds. Let's go now, guys. This is it. We've got the lovely Mitch, tofu. Remember all those lovely yeah. ingredients we had, everyone. I want the sauce. I want the sauce. Yep. Don't Let touch that. That's hot. That's hot. Would you want the sauce on here? 30 no, seconds no. now. I ain't going to do my chilies. Ooh, that's so chilies? Yeah. Yeah. They're there. They're right in the front here. Where were they? There they are. There they are. OK, chilies. Yeah. What do you want with them, Anthony? You want me to chop them up? Yes, please. OK, a couple of chilies chopped up. Little bit of red ones on the top here. OK. 15. There we are. It's all right, it's okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! I think you'll agree this is a bit of a spicy number, both sides. Anthony's finishing off there, the food looks beautiful, but what have we got over here? Les, have you got a name for this? You get stuck in there. Yeah, Mitch. I Thank have. you. I think, Ms. Jew, you're going to love this. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs>
I'm from sorry. the art. And look at his hands, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> He's been working hard. She's got him doing all sorts of things. She's had the painting out the bag. <laughs> you get stuck into that, Mitch. Right. Now, Mitch brought you along chicken awesome. breast, ginger, red pepper, pineapple, potato, and an onion. But what did you do with it all, Les? Right, we roasted the pepper in the oven yeah. and we made a very chilly mayonnaise oh, with the red oh, pepper, yes. yeah. Very, very hot. We mm. roasted the oh. we boiled the potatoes and roasted them in the oven with spices. You cut the chicken. Are you married? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank That's you. Beautiful. And we Fantastic. marinated this. We made like a ginger and onion paste with herbs. Mm -hmm. And we just slashed the chicken and stuck the chicken in, in the marinade and then just pan fried it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we made some cinnamon pancakes. And then with the rest of the pineapple, we fried it off in some butter, brown sugar, with some oranges, which Midge cut up beautifully, I have to say. And then mm. we stacked up the whole thing. Greek yogurt, the hot yeah. fruits, and the pancakes. And just layered it up. And layered like a pancake pie. Absolutely. Mm. It's fantastic. What do you think? A little bit of cinnamon. It's, fin it's beautiful. Absolutely for £4.94, is it, eh? Hey. Or I'll 91 or I'll something. start a restaurant now. Uh, yeah, I think you <laughs> will do. Take Leslie with you. Well done, Les. Thank beautiful. You. Now, you finally finished, Anthony. Ugh. Okay, and you've been cooking up. It looks like a feast here for Toya. Doesn't it look lovely? Can I try it? Of course, it you, you get stuck. Yeah. What are you going to call this? I've got Jamaican laid back. Um, I, this is a little <laughs> bit of. Hell in heaven. <laughs> hell in heaven. Yes, it was hell today. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it tastes like heaven on earth. I know. It's your oh, program. Oh, oh, lovely. Okay, heaven on earth, that'll do. Heaven on earth, indeed. Yeah. Now, Toya brought you along udon noodles, chilies, coconut milk, tofu, broccoli, and some spring onions. How did you compile it all together? Okay, let's start with the bread and butter pudding. We did our caramel base with some oranges on the bottom with um, brown sugar, mm -hmm. honey, and um, butter. And we made a custard with the coconut milk, <coughs> some cream. So to pan fried this, this um, obviously bread and butter, pan mm -hmm. fried the pineapple, put it on top, the back bunged in the oven. We've got the coconut milk, so it's a, a broccoli, a vegetarian sort of Thai curry with the coconut use, lots of spices, coriander. <laughs> <laughs> coriander, chili, ginger mm. from Leslie, thank you. And the, um, the noodles in there. And here, this is an udon soup noodle very light base, just the broccoli stalks, a little egg cracked in at the end. All the same sort of spices in there, except for the coconuts. And here, this is our tofu, mm. cooked salt and pepper. It's a bit hot, darling. <laughs> this one? <laughs> That's a killer. It's a How killer. many killers went in there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, You're going to fall on the floor, Anthony, after really this. really nice. Oh, no, it's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Have it, ladies and gentlemen. Two very, very satisfied celebrity guests. But what do our audience think? Is it going to be Anthony's red tomato or Yelsell's green pepper? Let's find out. Will you all please vote now? Oh, oh, it's Yelsell and Mitch green pepper. Well done. Excellent job, to you, Mitch. I know. Oh, it doesn't matter. Now I've got two up here. I've got to say, a thousand pounds there towards your favourite charity, which is? Uh, it's two. I'm splitting it between two. Uh, one's Nordoff Robbins, which is the official music industry charity, uh -huh. and the other one has has got to be Comic Relief. Comic Relief, isn't it? Oh, absolutely brilliant! Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Great, wonderful. Well done to you too, Les. Thank you. That's excellent. Well done. Hey. Oh wow. What can I say? You go away with the knowledge of being able to create all this wonderful food, and not only that. Look what I've got for you. The celebrity ready, steady cook. Yeah, you've got mm. 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy exactly. yourself? I had a great time. It was yeah. really, really good. Oh, thank we, you. We it was thoroughly a star. enjoyed having you on. Thank you, you Anthony. And thank you for joining us here on Celebrity Ready, Steady Cook. Until next time, have a wonderful evening. Bye bye. <laughs>